All right, so we've got a great alphanumeric problem right here, and that, that's just a problem that talks about some kind of math operation using letters only, and you can see the problem right here. And they're telling us a lot about it. So you, you, know, you read all this information and break it in pieces for yourself. So let's start. It tells us that in the following alphanumeric, the sum, maybe you want to translate that, right? That's for addition. The sum of two-digit numbers is also a two digit number. So we're adding two digit numbers and getting two digit numbers. So here it tells me right away, oh, A, B, and C are most likely just representing digits. The other thing they're telling us here is that A, B, and C are distinct digits. So if they're distinct, right, that means they can't equal each other. And that's what this part is telling us, that A does not equal B and, and B does not equal C, which also, of course, implies that A and C don't equal each other as well. So none of them are equal. They want to know how many distinct or how many different, different answers or different ways could you use numbers for A, B, and C. They're calling those ordered triples. That's just because if, if A was equal to 1, let's say, and that was your answer, and B was equal to 2, and C was equal to 3, let's say this was the answer you gave. You can give that as a triplet. So it's 1, 2, 3. That's a fancy way of saying, oh, you're going to give your answer in this ordered triplet, kind of like ordered pairs on a graph. Anyway, but that's not the answer, so let's just clear that off. Okay, um, they want to know how many, right? How many combinations work here? So with a problem like this, I, I don't mind taking my time, right? It's, there's no rush here. I want to understand it completely. I don't want to just go through it as fast as possible. Even though I, I did get this problem from a competition in which the goal was speed. I do like taking my time. So I know that A, B, and C cannot equal each other. So I want to, you know, and I know A and B and C, um, when I'm setting these things up and I add it, I'm adding A, B, and A, B. So whatever I pick for A, let's say I pick A is equal to 1, and B is equal to, to 0, right? Well, here, um, when I add these two, I would be adding 10 plus 10, and what would I get? Well, if I add 10 plus 10, all right, I get 20. 0 plus 0 is 0, and a plus a is 2. But is this an example I could use in this problem? No. The answer is no. Why? Because we just said c cannot equal a or b. And furthermore, c has to be a consistent value. So I don't even know what to call c here, because in this example, here c is equal to 0, which it doesn't fit because b is equal to 0. And then here we give a different value to c. c is equal to another number. It's equal to 2. So this doesn't work, right? We can't use it as a, as a test. So my system is, I'm starting at low numbers, 1 and 0 for a and b. Let's move up a step. Maybe I'll try a equals 1 and b equals 1 next. But oops, I can't try that either because a and b can't, can't equal each other. So what I'm going to do then is look at other A and B examples and see what happens to our C variable, right? I'm going to use A and B to test different C values and see what's going on. So if A equals 1 and B equals 1 doesn't work, I'll move up. How about A equals 1 and B equals 2? All right, in that case, we're adding 12 and 12. And what's that? Well, it's 24. So wait a minute, this seems weird because no matter what I pick for A and B, it seems that I get two different C values, right? And then you, 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 you could test all the values, right? We could start at 10 plus 10. I'll scroll down a little bit. And then we could, and that didn't work, it gave us 20. We can't do 11 plus 11 because A and B can't equal each other. We just tried 12 plus 12, right? And that gave us 24. And we could try all the examples, but notice what starts to happen is kind of interesting as well. We get to 13 and 13, we get 26. Again, C and C ends up being two different values, but that can't, you know, that's not working either. 14 and 14 is 28, right? And then finally, we get to 15 and 15, something else interesting happens. We begin to carry. So 5 and 5 is 10, right? 0, carry the 1, and we get 30. So here, you know, you might start to wonder, oh, is there some way that the carrying from these digits, right, could somehow carry over and make the two C values equal? Can that happen anywhere? So we could try every example, and, but that would be kind of tedious. You know, eventually we'd work our way to higher numbers. 
And I think where would it start? It would start to happen eventually in these two-digit sequences that we would get three-digit numbers, which we can't get either because we should get two-digit numbers. So I think the, the, the furthest we would go is, um, right, 50 plus 50 is 100. So that's too high. So I want to go 49 plus 49. And again, I can't do 50 plus 50 because um, that gives us a three-digit number, but we only want a two-digit number. And this is 98. So 98 is the highest value. And you're totally welcome to check all these values. In fact, if, you, if I'm confusing you with the things I'm saying, I would actually just go through all of them. That's called using brute force, all right? Trying every example that you can think of. There's nothing wrong with this ever. That'll help you have a deeper understanding for the problem. But there's a more powerful way to look at this and prove what's going on. So first of all, um, let's talk about the answer. My answer is that there are no distinct ordered triplets, right? The answer is, in fact, zero. This will never happen. And there are two ways to look at it. First of all, right, when we have a, I don't know, sorry, I don't like red on this gray background. So choose a different color. If we have a, b, plus a, b, What's the implication of getting C and C? Well, think about the way we add our stacks, right? We add B plus B, and this is saying we would get C. Okay. And what about A plus A? Well, if we add A plus A, it's saying we also get C. Is that possible? Sure, it's possible if A and B are equal. All right, with 11 plus 11, we get 22. If it was 12, 22 plus 22, we would get 44. But in each of these cases, A and B are equal to each other. But if A and B are not equal, how could they add up to the same value, right? This is never true. How could we add two A's, get C, add two different numbers, and also get C? I don't see that being possible, right? But what about that situation with the carrying there, right? That's the confusing part. Like, you're, my brain at least tells me, oh, there's got to be somewhere where I carry from the B value, and somehow that makes the A plus A equal to the same thing as B plus B. But in fact, that's not possible as well. If you think about it, let's say B plus B carries, right? Go back to our carrying example. So B plus B equals, equals C, right? And if we carry, what are we going to carry? Well, we're going to carry a 10, like we did with 15 plus 15. So I'll write 15 plus 15 again, so you can see it. 15 plus 15. 5 and 5 gives you 10, right? So C is zero. And then we carry a one up here. So we get one plus one plus one, or 30, or A plus A plus one. So think about it that way. We're gonna get A plus A plus this one that we're always carrying. So the A plus A plus one, we're saying, also can that equal C as well? Absolutely not. Think about it this way. B plus B, what kind of a number is that? Take any two numbers, take three plus three, two odd numbers, two even numbers, two plus two, and you get an even result. So B plus B, it's two numbers being added, so it's an even number. But what about A plus A plus one? What kind of a number is that? Well, A plus A plus one is an odd number, right? Why? Well, think about some examples. If, you, if A was three, you get three plus three, and then add one. That would be seven. If, if A was an even number, like 4, we get 4 plus 4, plus 1, we get 9. When you add 1 to the sum of any two numbers, you're basically adding 1 to an even number. And the rule there is an even plus 1 gives you an odd. So the idea in this problem is, hey, A plus A and B plus B can never both equal C. Even when you carry, when you end up carrying, A will always be an odd value, and, right, and B will always be an even. So I hope that helped. Um, I love this problem, it's super tough for me. And I encourage you to extend it. Maybe A plus B plus C plus A plus B plus C can that ever equal D, 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 or some variation. Alphanumerics are really fun, thanks.